Why are so many people leaving Dallas? Stay tuned. I'm going to be sharing why so many people are moving from Dallas to the suburbs. I'm Robert Owen, your friend and Dallas Fort Worth realtor, and I have helped a lot of people relocate to this area. When people reach out to me about moving to Dallas, Frisco or Fort Worth, they often mention how much growth there is and how many opportunities there are in the Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex. DFW is the fourth most populated metro in the country and it's one of the fastest growing areas. But something interesting is happening in the city of Dallas. Dallas's population is declining and Dallas has lost almost 15,000 people between the years of 2020 and 2021. So why are so many people moving from Dallas? Let's dive in into a few reasons. So the first is the housing market. So Dallas is primarily a city with older homes. And I'm talking about homes that go all the way back into the 1900s. And with the median home price of being about $395,000, most people realize that they can move to a suburb and get a much newer home with better features, and that's more, something that's more conducive to their lifestyle at or a little above the price of the median home in Dallas. I'm even saying some suburbs with new construction and they're offering for about $350,000. So if you're comparing a suburb in Dallas and the type of home with the same type of price point versus a home in Dallas, it really is not much of a comparison. Yes you're kind of sacrificing the location and the proximity to the downtown area and we're kind of branching out and getting away from that city core. Another reason that people are exiting the city is that Dallas, they're missing out on the sense of community and people are more and more attracted to the master planned communities. And a lot of these master planned communities are in the suburbs like Frisco and McKinney and Forney. In fact, a lot of people who reach out to me are seeking out master planned communities because they think they want that sense of community, that golf cart community, and that communal feel that the master plan communities are providing. These communities have a ton of amenities for all ages. They have golf cart communities, zip lines, hiking, biking, green spaces. They have parks, they have golf areas. Some of them have lagoons and are near massive lakes. They have community gyms. Some of them have master playing communities. Some have resort style pools. And what we're seeing a lot of is they have lifestyle directors. And these lifestyle directors really are having like a, a concierge or a party planner right where you live. So these lifestyle directors will coordinate these various events throughout the year for the community. I know of one master plan community in McKinney, Texas, that during Christmas time, they have different Christmas trees in each of the model homes. All of the Christmas trees are decorated and they look absolutely beautiful. And it's worth just seeing the model homes and driving your golf cart around the different model homes in that community and by judging the best Christmas trees for that particular development. It's a real winner. Another reason people are leaving Dallas is if they have school age kids, most people are not the happiest with the quality of the schools in Dallas. Residents of the city with kids are looking well for high performing schools. And with a variety of extracurricular activities and sports, well, simply they are really just a big deal here in Texas. And so if you have kiddos and they're involved in a program that provides the support that they're going to need and to thrive and improve and their skills are, are probably going to be into a suburban type of city. They really do offer various programs that really do show when you see the state titles that they've earned over the decades, suburbs are terrific. According to the Texas Education Agency, Dallas Independent School District 
earned an accountability rating of a B, which is an 86 out of 100, so it's not bad. And the student achievement rating was a C, which was a 79 out of 100. So we're not saying that Dallas does not have good schools districts, but it has a rating of a B, which is really not that bad. But I want to point out that in the suburbs, some of the surrounding suburbs like Frisco and Prosper, these cities have higher academic ratings. And when it comes to schools, so some of your school districts like Prosper and Frisco and Allen, they can continuously have an A rating or higher. So nowadays, people are really doing their homework. They're looking for a full scope of what their school district can provide for their child. And when you look at Dallas, Dallas Independent School District, well, this should compare to some of those suburban schools and some of the suburban school districts. It really does tell a story. So do your due diligence. I'm gonna leave a link below. So do your homework and see what fits best for your child. And just know that this is one of the reasons why people are exiting Dallas as a city. Another reason that people are leaving is because of the crime. Dallas crime statistics are a big factor as to why people are leaving the city. Nearly every night when you are watching the news, you see, well, some type of crime happening in the city of Dallas. According to a neighborhood scout, Dallas's crime index is a three out of 100, with 100 being the safest violent crimes, theft, and even murder are very concerning to residents, obviously. The city recently announced that there is a rise in murders in 2023, while overall violent crimes have dropped. The city and police department have been working for years on a plan to try to make the city safer. But to be candid, well, some residents would just prefer a less populated city so they can gravitate to the suburbs to get away from all of the inner city crime that they have experienced in the city of Dallas. Now, don't get me wrong, I am originally from Dallas and I have lived there for a majority of my life. And there are some really, really nice areas and private schools and everything. Like all cities, some parts of the city may be more heavily impacted by crime than other parts of the city. No matter where you live, you need to do your homework, obviously, on what you feel is the best for you and your family. If this is the first time to our channel and you want to know everything that there is to know about living in Dallas, Frisco, Fort Worth, and the surrounding suburbs, then please subscribe to our channel, hit the bell if you want to be notified, and we will let you know everything that there is to know about living in this great city. So let's talk more about housing costs and how you get more bang for your buck in the suburbs versus being in the city, the city core of Dallas. But honestly, renting is getting a little out of hand, more and more expensive than Dallas. So when it comes to rents, people are finding better quality and less expensive options out in the suburbs versus renting inside the city of Dallas. According to the National Low Income Housing Coalition, Dallas renters need to earn $53,000 a year to afford a one bedroom apartment. And according to rent.com, the average rents for apartments in Dallas are between $1,300 and $1,800. Not only that, 50% of the apartments are more than $2,100 a month. So. Residents are looking at other options. They are not getting tied down into a living situation in Dallas. If you're spending at least $2,100 a month on maybe a two, maybe a three bedroom apartment, you might want to consider living in a suburb. And that's what a lot of residents are doing. And at that price, some people are even considering buying townhomes instead of single family detached homes or about the same amount of money that they would be spending on an apartment. Another reason people are leaving Dallas is because of the traffic. There's nothing more frustrating than being stuck in traffic. And if you live in Dallas, it's probably a part of your daily life. According to a recent study, Dallas ranks number six 
as a city with the worst traffic. Another recent report indicates that Dallas County has 20 of the busiest roads in Texas. So there's a constant construction on the highways in Dallas. You have people coming in and out for daily work activities and games and all of these additional vehicles on the highways. Well, it just gets congested. So traffic is something that people are tired of dealing with. And this is one of the reasons why people are living the city and going out to the suburbs. Another alternative people have with traveling in and around the city is the DART system. And DART stands for Dallas Area Rapid Transit, which is the acronym basically for Dallas's public transportation system. Please see our video on Plano, Plano, Texas for more on the DART system. Surprisingly, even utilizing this system, those numbers are down. So not as many people are utilizing the DART system as one of the reasons that there's so much a spike in crime or violent activities or this massive transit source department. Another reason people are leaving Dallas is because they have more career flexibility or remote options. The workforce has changed over the past 10 years and has dramatically for some of us and the office jobs aren't as frequent and five days a week in the office because they would rather live somewhere near or close to the proximity of where they work but now there's more flexibility there are more people that are able to work remotely which gives them the option to not have to live near the downtown city core dallas has definitely experienced that in a recent article, Dallas ranked as one of the top areas for remote work. People can now choose where they want to live because now they can work from home. A lot of my clients, when we're out looking for different homes, they're asking specifically for an office or a study of some sort, maybe a bedroom that they can convert because they are remote workers. So now, instead of buying a home in Dallas, they are looking in the suburbs or the surrounding areas because now they have that freedom to live wherever they want and still do their jobs. Another thing that is driving people away from Dallas is the Dallas politics, all right? I'm not big on politics at all, but when it comes to politics in the city of Dallas, you can't help but to read some type of article or see something on the news pertaining to what's going on with the city council. One thing that has been a real thorn with Dallas residents and that frustrates them is the Dallas city council. Now, historically, there has been more drama that a resident would like to see. There have been multiple bribery cases that have made major waves in the city involving the city council members. You can just go to Google and check it out for yourself, but just know that there has been a history of issues when it comes to the Dallas City Council. There's also quite a bit of a strained relationship because the mayor and the city manager of Dallas and many residents were frustrated or upset when the Dallas city mayor, well, he switched political teams the, the political parties and they have been complaining about the mayor missing all or some of the city council meetings. All of this is taken into account as some of the residents questioning whether the leadership of the city of Dallas really has their best interests. And many have decided that Dallas is no longer the city for them. Do you have any questions or are you moving to Dallas? If so, give me a call. Let's get on a Zoom call. Text me or email me and I'll see you in the next video.